Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the iPhone lock screen, which can do so much more than just tell the time. With the iPhone 17, 17 Pro, iPhone Air or older, Apple added tons of new customization options in iOS 26. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything you can do with the lock screen. Let's get started. All right, so if you're not sure, this is Apple's lock screen. When you press the side button to lock your iPhone, it takes you here. This is where you can access the lock screen and see your background time as well as other things. Now this will work no matter which iPhone you have as long as you have iOS 26. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to customize your lock screen with widgets, wallpapers, focus modes, and hidden settings. So let's start by customizing the lock screen. So first thing you need to do is tap to wake up your screen. You can see mine is locked there. You do need to unlock it either with face ID like it did right there or you can use your passcode. Once it's done, you can tap and hold or long press like I did there. And this will bring up your collection of lock screens. If this is a brand new iPhone, you may only see one, but you can see I have quite a few here that I've set up and have used over time. Now you can tap on customize down here to customize the active wallpaper you're looking at. You can also swipe all the way to the right and tap on this plus to add a new wallpaper. You also have a plus here, which will allow you to do the same. And you can swipe between wallpapers to switch to the one you wanna use. So for example, if I switch to this one, I tap on it. This is my new lock screen and wallpaper setup. So let's go over how to customize the iPhone lock screen. So we'll long press to bring up our collection of lock screens here. And the first thing we'll do is create a brand new one. So let's go all the way to the side here and we'll tap on the plus. This brings up all the options you have for your wallpaper. So at the top, you can see photos, photo shuffle, emojis, and so on. You can also scroll down to access all of those as well. So just to show you, the one we're using here is the iOS 26 wallpaper. If we wanted to choose a different one, for example, this one right here, we could tap on it. And every time you choose a wallpaper, you'll notice that these three dots or four or five, how many they have are there. You can always swipe and it'll bring you through and between the options that are there. So I'll pick another one here so you can see that it does that. For example, the one we had, you can switch between the different options and it tells you about them down there. So let's say we wanted to create one here. We want to create this dynamic wallpaper, which is going to switch colors, as you can see what it's doing right here. We can use that. So first off at the top, we have widgets, and you also have a widget library at the bottom. You may see these widgets here, depending on which wallpaper you choose, but you can customize all of these just by tapping within the boxes. So if we tap at the top here, we can change what we see. By default, it's set to the date and time. We're gonna change the date here to something else if we wanted to. We can set it to our fitness data. So if we tap on fitness, we can now see the calories burnt. We still get the date, the minutes, and so on. Tap away and it's there. We also have our clock, which we can tap within and customize the font and color. So you can change between all of these fonts and colors if you would like as well. You can choose between the liquid glass look or the solid looks, which you can see the difference here. When I tap on the glass, you kind of get that glass effect. I prefer those, it's the new thing. So for this example, let's stick with the first one because the uh, there is an option here I wanna show you. So I'm gonna stick with it like this and you'll notice there's this little curve here. This curve is available also in your control center when you edit these controls, you can see this curve. Whenever you see that kind of curve while you're working with your iPhone, you can actually resize that box. So for us here, this is a cool tip. You can grab and make that clock really big. And then if you tap inside, you can customize the thickness of it as well. And you can customize the color. One thing to note, if you change to any of these other options, you lose that ability to move that box around. So I'm gonna click on that one. I'm gonna make it like this, and I'm going to use this red just because it kind of pops a little bit easier to see here. And because I chose red, all of these will turn red as well. You can see at the top, it turned red there too. All right, so let's go through some of these widgets down here that you can add as well. So it says add widgets. If we tap in there, 
you're going to see your widget library of all the different applications you have available to you on your iPhone that have widget compatibility here. So you can choose from any one of these and add them in. You have small square versions as well as larger versions. If you use the larger version, it'll take up two slots. You can put up to four small ones, two larger ones, or a mixture of one and two. So we'll do that. So let's add in our alarm clock. That's always good to have. I'm going to add in a battery icon and I'm going to do this one right here. And then I'm going to add in the stocks right here. And now we have them all set up. We can tap away and you can see the widgets are now enabled down there. So if you then tap on this and hold, you can also move this up. However, you lose the ability to use the long clock. So just set it up the way you'd like. You can also switch these two buttons here and on the lock screen, if you press and hold on these, it'll activate a flashlight or activate your camera. Now the iPhone 17 models as well as the iPhone 16 models have a camera control button on the side here that you can press to activate the camera. So I've been experimenting by just removing that. You just tap the minus, remove the camera or whichever one, and then tap the plus. And it brings up your control center options here where you can choose any one of these controls to add as an option in that space. So I've been using the dark mode, but you can choose anything you want. And you can do the same with the flashlight here. So I'm not really feeling this dynamic one anymore. I'm gonna move it over. We'll go with this light purple one here. And I'm gonna show you this little option here. So if you tap on this, you can choose to have the appearance automatic, light, or dark. So this one that we're looking at is in automatic. So during the day, it's gonna be in light mode. At night, it'll turn to dark mode. So if I wanted it dark mode, it would look like that. This is my favorite look with the iPhones this year is this kind of purpley in dark mode. And then right here, this option is going to give you the depth effect. So if you look here, the number is kind of behind this circle and it's giving a 3D effect. If you turn this effect off, now it goes above. You lose that 3D look of how the system is set up with your lock screen. I like the depth effect on, but if you don't, that's where you can turn it off. Once you've set up all of these options here, you can tap add. And when you do this, it's gonna prompt you to customize the home screen or set as a wallpaper pair. If you just choose set as wallpaper pair, it's going to give you a blurred background of the initial wallpaper you have selected here behind all your applications, but I'll show you how to customize the home screen here as well. And when you tap on it, that's exactly what you see. So it's set to pair. If you choose a color, it's got yellow here. There's a very faint plus in the yellow. You can tap on that and choose a specific color that you like to have as that background. And you have a slider here as well that you can choose from. Same thing with the gradient down here. You can tap on it. It gives you a little plus and the gradients give you kind of like an effect where it's one color at the bottom and it kind of fades into another color at the top here. So choose the one you like best. And then here you can even choose a photo. And if you have a really nice photo or you took a great photo, not like me here, you could choose it and it'll then appear as your wallpaper background here. If you tap on these three dots, it'll show you an option to extend the wallpaper if you need to. I don't in this case, so I'm gonna turn that off. And you can even pinch to kind of zoom in on it or whatever you might wanna do. You can two finger adjust and then tap done when you're happy with it. It'll give you a quick preview here of how it's going to look. And then lastly, you have a blur effect. So you can blur that background there. It's much easier to see your wallpaper on the home screen with a blurred effect, but if you have the right wallpaper, you can make it work even without that. So we'll tap done. And now our new lock screen with wallpaper is ready to choose it. We can tap on it. So there's my wallpaper. It's darkened up a little bit here. I do have the always on display on. So if I tap on it, I can access the wallpaper. I have my widgets down here. I can tap on these widgets. It'll open them up and show me what's going on within those widgets that I chose. And like I said, if you ever want to switch between wallpapers, you just tap and hold and then you can switch between them and choose them like that. But now let's go over a few of the other options here when you're creating a brand new wallpaper. So I showed you just basically choosing a wallpaper here, but you can actually choose your photos as well. So if we go to photo here and I choose this one, that'll be the look. You can always choose to change it here and choose something else. 
you can pinch to crop. You can also choose the spatial scene. So if you do have a photo that works good with spatial, you can use that as well. I'm gonna cancel this though, and I'm gonna show you Photo Shuffle, which will allow you to basically choose manually, or if you have enough photos on your phone and it's been there for a while, it'll use this memory ability to kind of create a cool featured Photo Shuffle for you as well. So we'll choose one manually here, and I'm just gonna go through them and just choose a couple here. And then I'm going to check the box there. So basically now I have those options there. I can also switch to change the effect. So if I wanted this kind of effect, I could have that. Then tap these three dots right here and choose how you want this to shuffle. So daily, hourly, on lock, or on tap. I'm gonna use on tap just so you guys can see how it looks. I'm gonna tap done. I'm gonna select that lock screen. And now anytime I tap on it, it's going to switch to the next photo. And if you have like a lot of family photos or a trip or anything like that, you can make this really unique and very customized. And the great thing is if you're doing something at work or you're in a place where you don't want your photos to be shown, you can always switch over to one of your other wallpapers just like this. Now, once again, let's long press and we'll go to create a new wallpaper here. I wanna show you the emoji option here. And when you tap on it, you can create a wallpaper with emojis. And this looks really cool. You can see how they look in the background there. You can choose any emoji from this list. You can even choose your own Genmojis and stickers, whatever you might wanna use here for your wallpaper. So let's just go ahead, we'll choose some emojis here for our background. So let's say we wanted that one and you can see how it adds both of them in. You can add this one, this one. And if you don't want one, you can always go there and then tap the backspace. You can see how it's changing the background as well. And you can put as many as you want, I believe. It's just gonna make things smaller. Give it a try, I'm not 100% sure. It looks like you can do six, so not as many as you want. And we'll do the skates, but you can do up to six. So let's go with that. This is how it looks. You have dynamic down here. We can swipe between them and it'll change the way it looks or the way it's set up. This radial one looks pretty nice. That one looks cool as well. And you can then add that in up top and it'll do the same thing, allowing you to customize it or set them as both. And now this is its own lock screen as well. And you created it with your favorite emojis. Once again, go back in. I'm gonna show you another option here within. There are options where you can actually use backgrounds that move. So if you have live photos, so for this example, I'm going to choose this one here with these bubbles. And when you do that, you can see that they move for a few seconds and then they stop and they kind of give this effect. They're kind of like bobbing, right? So if we choose this one and you can swipe just like you would any other one. So we'll just use orange Halloween and we can set them as a pair. We're gonna choose this wallpaper and now this is how it's going to look as our lock screen when we tap. We can use all these options here when it locks and uh, kind of dims itself down with the always on display. That's how it's going to look. When you wake it, it'll start again. You'll be able to also see it move around as you're kind of moving your phone. It's hard to see, but it's using that parallax effect. And you'll notice this will move from time to time. If you have live photos, give it a try. It works really well. I like it a lot. Uh, let's go over a couple more options here. So we're going to tap and hold. I'm going to show you how to delete lock screens or collections of lock screens that you've created. As you can see, I have quite a few here. And I also have these ones, which are very cool with the dynamic island. So I'm going to get rid of these. And the way you do that is you swipe up. You'll see this little garbage can. Tap on that. And then tap to confirm it. It'll delete it. So any ones you don't want, go ahead and do that. And this way you can clean things up if you have too many. But one of the most important options here or useful is the ability to use this little focus option. So for example, in my main one here, this is how I have my phone set up. If I tap on this focus icon, I can actually link focuses to that specific lock screen. And what focuses do is they give you the ability to reduce interruptions, limit them to only things that you want. So if you only wanna be able to get calls from a certain person or just emergencies or be completely muted, you can, and you can set them up in the settings application. I did do a focus mode tutorial if you search my channel. I will update that video though for iOS uh, 26, but here you go, scroll to the bottom, tap on focus settings, and you can set these all up. 
and create them for yourself based on what you would need. But what's most useful about this is the ability to have this one set up that way. So now you don't have to pull down your control center, choose your focus here with that specific lock screen. You can actually just change the lock screen over. So let's say this was my lock screen. Really cool. He's holding on to the dynamic island. But I needed to be in a meeting. I'm going to tap here and hold. Bring it over to my YouTube lock screen, which is set for quiet, not being bothered unless it's emergencies or the specific people I chose. And now I won't receive any of those notifications that will interrupt me. So it is very good and it ties in with them. So you can create a lock screen for different focuses, different options, a night mode, a sleep mode, whatever you want. It's available there for you as well. Now tying in with your lock screen, if we open up the settings application here, you can actually scroll down and do a lot of this from the wallpaper section. We can tap on that. It'll show you your current wallpaper that you have here. You can swipe between your wallpapers and tap on them and then access all of those settings there as well. Well, you can also set a wallpaper as your current wallpaper just by tapping up there. You can add a new wallpaper right here the same way, going through all of these options and choosing them just like I showed you. And you basically have all the same ability. So if you prefer to do it right here within the settings, you can. It works just as good and pretty much the same as it did with the lock screen version of it. So keep that in mind, a little tip for you right there. Now, lastly, if you wanna customize one of your lock screens you've already created, for example, this one here, you need a long press, hold, and then tap on customize right here. This brings you back to this section where you can customize the little icons at the bottom, the widgets, the clock, and you can make any changes you want. So you can change up your widgets and things like that. You can also swipe across and change the look. So if you want to match it up with your case, you could do that as well if you have multiple cases, but this is where you would go to customize it. And then you can tap done again here. This time it just makes the change. It doesn't give you the option to set it as both for your wallpaper as well as the lock screen. So this is the new one that I've created or added here. That's how it looks dimmed if I tap on it you can see those bubbles come back. Also going back into the settings page here, if we go to the display and brightness, you saw I had the always on display and that's this right here. And basically that means when I lock my phone, it just stays on but dimmed like this. I can swipe up and if I turn this off, so the always on display off, now, when I lock my phone, I don't even see that until I tap and then it'll bring up the lock screen like this. So that's an option for you as well. If you don't like to use the always on display, you can and you can customize these options as well. So now you know everything the iPhone 17 lock screen can do from the widgets to depth effects to focus modes. And as always, if you found this helpful, check out my full iPhone 17 tips and tricks playlist. The link for that is in the description below or even more tutorials. As always, if you had any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. Hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. This was the full iPhone 17 Pro Max customization tutorial of the lock screen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.